Welcome back. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing Mono Green Aggro in Ranked Standard. This deck got a much needed boost from the latest Phyrexia All Will Be One set, and I'm excited to explore some of these new options with you today. In the one drop slot, we now have access to Evolving Adaptive, essentially a one mana one one that grows every time a creature enters the battlefield who either has bigger power or bigger toughness than it. I missed this in one of the games, so in fact, if you go Adaptive into Scrap Gorger, it still gets bigger because the three toughness is bigger than the Adaptive's toughness. Pretty sweet. Sweet, grows every turn, can't complain about that in any kind of green aggressive deck. We also have access to Tyvar's Stand, pay X and a green for an instant target creature you control gets plus X plus X and gains Hexproof and Indestructible until end of turn. Pretty cheap save your creature card, you can just pay a single green to get something Hexproof and Indestructible, but the plus X plus X definitely adds some versatility to it. Certainly if your opponent is tapped out, you can feel free to pump something to the moon and go for victory, but as you'll see shortly, we have a lot of trample built into the deck and so there are a lot of sneaky ways you can pump something up and sneak through for victory with this card. I don't know if it's necessarily a 4 of. I think we'll probably still need Tail Swipe. We're definitely missing Bri Blizzard Brawl, and Tail Swipe is kind of the best we have, so I bet maybe something like four Tail Swipes and two Tyvar Stand and drop some Pack Leaders might be the optimal combination, but we're trying out four for today. Two drop slot, we now have access to the Armored Scrap Gorger, a two mana 0-3. Uh, it can tap to make one mana of any color, kind of like the Lanawar Loam Speaker. But uh, whenever it becomes tapped, either via its effect or via attacking, you get to exile target card from a graveyard and put an oil counter on the armored scrap gorger. When it has three or more oil counters, it gets plus three plus oh, so now it becomes a two mana three three, which is kind of nice. And the ability to take things out of the graveyard is relevant against a decent number of decks, so I don't hate this card. I think it's about on par with the Loam Speaker. Now we also have Canker Bloom. I mean, we are really sorely missing just another ridiculously powerful two drop in our, you know, heavy beat down green deck. But Canker Bloom is a two mana three two, which hits a little bit harder than honestly the other options we have it also has some pretty interesting options here you can pay one and sack it to either destroy an artifact like a portal to phyrexia destroy an enchantment like a wedding announcement or fable of the mirror breaker or proliferate and again as long as you have lots of counters around and you can proliferate proliferate at instant speed you can get some sneaky damage through so watch out for that option beast color of course the best two drop we have Three drop, we now have access to a Bloated Contaminator, a three mana 4-4, four, four, reminiscent of the three mana 4-4 four, four Old Growth Troll from Pyro Sets. This one also has Trample. It has Toxic 1, which isn't super relevant in this deck because we're not really looking for a Toxic Victory, but it is there. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you get to Proliferate, meaning put extra counters on all the things that already have counters. And then for the other three drop slot, I am opting today for Kodama of the West Tree, a three mana 3-3 three, three with Reach, which you will see. Sometimes people forget about, which is very satisfying. Uh, modified creatures, meaning they have counters of any kind including plus one counters or even oil counters now have trample and whenever they deal damage to a player you get to search your library for a basic land put it onto the battlefield tap so you get some pseudo ramp ability here which is quite nice and also gives a lot of your stuff trample i think that's the three dropper going for today i could see mixing in some amounts of auger of autumn because just given the growth of these cards it's i think a lot easier to turn on auger than in some of the other versions of this deck but for now running kodama i think he's a good one a good fit Four drop, we have Evolved Spinoderm, a four mana 5-5, five, five, which is a, a big base to deal with, right? Mono green and uh, a mono red type decks are going to have trouble getting through this unless they also have large creatures. It's a Phyrexian Beast. When it enters the battlefield, it has four oil counters on it. For the first two turns, it has Trample, essentially. Uh, sorry, for the first two turns, it has Hexproof. And then for the last two turns, when it has two or fewer oil counters, it switches to Trample. Kind of interesting. So when it hits the battlefield, it's very hard for the opponent to get rid of. You can try to sneak in for damage. And then finally, in the last couple turns, it gets Trample. And so you can try to push that last bit of damage over. However, when you re remove that last oil counter, it does die. It is sacrificed. Kind of interesting. Uh, I think it's going to serve. I think either you're going to win the game or you're going to lose the game if you were going to sack it anyway, so I'm not really super worried about that component of it, but uh, kind of a fun, annoying card for control decks to get through via the Hexproof and then aggro decks to get through the 5-5. Five five. And then lastly, on top, Thrun Breaker of Silence, a 5-mana five 5-5 five five legendary creature, Troll Shaman, pretty sweet artwork, cannot be countered, has Trample, Cannot be the target of non-green spells or non-green sources your opponents control, and as long as it's your turn, it has indestructible. So this is super annoying to deal with for the vast majority of decks. Things are going to come down and basically stay down for the rest of the game. So kind of interesting to try this out. We'll see how it goes. And then the mana base running 24 lands. I don't think you need all four Mishra's Foundries in there. I rarely find I need that to squeak through victory, and so I'm opting for two of the slots to go to the Crystal Grotto. I do like that scry effect. That's the deck. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. One goes first. This is not our mono green aggro hand. This is better. Maybe put back one of the scrap gorgers. I doubt we need two of them. Mono red. 
Classic. Hashtag no new friends. Okay. Adaptive online. So Kenzin, Swift Spear, okay. No blocks. Eat at least two here. And the festivities. Kill our 1-1. One -one. Very sad to be on the draw. Kanker Bloom. I feel like it's going to get outclassed. Maybe we just go right into the Spinoderm here. Okay, here comes a 0-3. Might not even be able to block with it. Because I do want to keep this guy around. Reckless Impulse. Okay. Phoenix Chick. Well, we know what they have. They don't attack with Kumano. Though they could. No blocks. Alright. We've survived a turn. I think it's a Spinoderm here. Give him a 5-5 five, five to deal with. Okay, take one of these guys. Sure. Five five unlocked. Does have hexproof. So it's a decent blocker this turn. Alright. The aerial assault begins. No reach yet. We need the Kodama to get reach. Chicky's pecking away two damage at a time. We can't sit here forever on the defensive. Okay, oil counters down to three. There's the Kodama we need for the reach, so that's huge. So we go pack leader plus Kodama this turn. Do we attack with a Spinoderm? We're not really under as much pressure anymore. We could sit for a minute. I think we do. I think we need the Spinoderm back to block still. Okay. Reach unlocked. It's possible they forget it has reach. So, we'll pray a little bit for that. Wouldn't be the first time. They read it. Likely have discovered it has reach. We'll see if they lightning strike it immediately. Not this turn, but next turn. I think we cannot attack here. We'll need to eventually. Because this thing is going to get sacrificed at some point. Play with fire to the face. Okay, down to eight. One to the bottom. I like to see it. Let's we'll see if they attack into the reach anyway. Another land. Alright, that's awkward. That gives them more extension in terms of damage dealing to the face. Down to seven. Reinforce Ronin. Cycle draw a card. They're looking to burn us down to zero. More land. So I think we are attacking with the Spinoderm this turn. And then double spelling... With the last two. Try to make some blockers. In terms of where to point this thing though. I think we need to end the game quickly. I don't think we have time to screw around. With this stuff. So let's send these guys in there I guess. Try to get some Kodama triggers. When it drops to 12. Let's try to get him within striking distance. Okay. Okay. Ramp, ramp. More lands. Canker Bloom. And Contaminator. Okay, take you. So they can't play you back with a vampire. Alright, we're down to seven. Opponents at 12. We got three blockers. One of them has reach. Okay. To the face, down to five. One to the top. They can play it off the Chandra here. They can plus and exile it. Was that an upkeep scry, I guess? Mechanized Warfare. Well, that hurts for sure. Is that just lethal? Almost. Drops us to one this turn. So that's three. They get two more off the chick. Let's see if they go for it, though. I mean, if they don't, we kind of have to win this turn. Okay. They drop us to one, then. All right. And now we have to win. Does that do anything? Can only juke them out. I mean, we're definitely going face here. There's no other choice. Because they can just plus the Chandra. Well, is there a choice? No, I think we just got him here. Okay. Swing of offenses. Sure, take one of these guys. And their best blocks are on non-modified creatures. So they go block, block, and then take 14. So I think we got him. Should have Trample because it has modifications off a counter. Has Trample off the counter. 
That one does not have tramples. That's a better block. Okay. That's all. I think they missed the trample off the Kodama, but... Whew, close one. Down to one. On the draw. Yeah, we can try this out. No one drop, sadly. Okay, Simic. I wonder if they're the Simic Toxic deck. Nothing on one for us. So at least they don't have their rare one drop. Ooh, slow land as well. Okay, well, they gave us a chance to set up here. We'll try to get the Beast Caller down. They might not have a whole lot of removal for it besides things like Fading Hope. Not a whole lot of stick there, though. Storm Chaser Drake. Yeah, I bet they are poison. But... Give them a run for their money. Maybe we get the Adaptive down and the Canker Bloom. Seems reasonable. We don't need the Tyvar stand yet. And we might not need it at all this game, except for maybe just some extra damage to shove through. But swing for four. Okay. Feeling pretty good. They have a very slow start. So now they can hold open um, protection. Combat research. Okay, they go into the card drawing business. But if the goal is to win via poison counters, we've got zero poison counters. Down to 18. That land's nice. That means we can both play the Contaminator and hold open Tyvar Stand, which I do like. Let's just check. We could pick off the enchantment with this. Um, or even proliferate, but I don't think we need to do that. There is stick, of course, but I'm curious. Uh, if they try to Fading Hope the Beast Caller, we might Tyvar Stand it. March for how many? Okay. Resolve the draw first. Uh, yeah, we don't need to tie our stand. I think it's kind of a waste here. I think we can just let this go. I mean, we'd shove through four, five extra damage off of getting the Beast Caller through. But I think I'd rather save it for a more critical moment. But it does buy him time for sure. Thrawn Portal, mm-hmm. On green, comes in tapped. Ivy comes in, yep. Again, no, um... No poison counters, so if that's the game, they haven't established it yet. But this deck is very explosive and can win out of nowhere, so we do have to be careful, and they're drawing plenty of cards. Okay. Next turn, we can double spell here. I think we want to hold open Tyvar stand. So at least get the next Contaminator going. Okay, grow the squad. Swing in here, we'll play the Canker Bloom after combat, even though it would grow the Beast Caller one more. I mean, we could attempt we can attempt lethal here. I think I'm down, so if they're going to bounce someone... Let's just put it here. Okay, they give you Hexproof and Indestructible, but that's okay. Okay, they get to gain two life. Actually, they get to gain four life. Alright, so our cheeky lethal did not work, but that is a ton of damage still. And the only thing we missed out on was deploying this canker bloom. Uh, it automatically selected all the good ones, so I think we're good there. Submit three. So it did our two creatures plus their poison counter. Alright, so can they win? They could win right now on this turn. We have zero poison counters. Can they get there? March. Okay, so they get another rot priest now. Only three mana left, and one of that has to be used on the, um, but we get two counters here. One off the Rot Priest, one off the copy from the Spell Thief, right? We only got one off that. Okay, target. Yeah. All right, they're going off. Can you win? Totally possible. Up to three, four, five. Draw a card. Two mana left. Can you get there? Swing. That seems unnecessary. Oh, they want to draw? Right, of course. Two more cards. Three more cards. Is it enough to... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it could be. Three off a Rot Priest and a Spell Thief copy. So they can play two instants at target. I think they have us here. Pretty annoying. We'll see. Uh, this, this deck's definitely um, going to give some people a run for their money. Okay, so that's the first copy, and now they get another chance to draw into a green instant or sorcery. Resolves. Okay, nine. They just need one more. They pass to us. We get to go. Is there any reason to uh, remove anything here? 
They scoop. Oh, we get there. Close, though. I mean, that shows off the power of that deck. That deck will snipe people if you're not ready. Pretty sweet. One lander. You don't see that every day. Better. Put back the most expensive thing for sure. Keep six. Put back the five drop. But no one drop this time. Chapai on Azorius. Okay. Uh, we're stuck on land, so we'll get the scrap forger down. Maybe ramp into Kodama. Opponent actually on soldiers. They're going to flash in the reinforcements, and they reveal it to us, which is kind of funny. I mean, I guess we just get down the 4-4 here. Karabin's nice because it helps ramp us, but we don't have any uh, counters to, to get there yet. Yep, here comes the flash. 1-1s. One Let's we'll see if they can pump squad. Rudokathar, take the Contaminator. Okay. Swing for 2. Pack Leader plus Canker Bloom. I think that's the best we can do here. Sadly, stuck on land. Siege veteran, okay. Trading is not attractive here. They get a 1 1 anyway. So I think we just eat that for now. More land, okay. Starting to get into business here. Get the Spinoderm down. 5-5 five, five is a big boy to deal with. Get a counter. If we can get the Kodama in there. Um, no, they don't really want to block with anything, actually. So we might be able to attack here. Okay, down to 14. We have a 5-5 five, five to defend with. Ao of the Dawn Sky. That's not a soldier. That is a Dragon Spirit. Okay, they make a 3-3. Three, three. I think I'm okay playing out the Kodama here. And, uh... You can get in there. I guess you can get in there. We can pump for one. You can get in there as well. Okay, let's try it like that. Oh, that's easy then. We just tie our stand here. And we don't have to pump more than, um... Well, we do, because we want the trample. We're already going to get the trample. So, we'll, we'll put the one in there. I think that's fine. It means we have one fewer blocker. Okay. 6-6, six, six, Hexproof, Indestructible. Swing in for a good chunk of damage. Get the Kodama triggers. Try to thin our deck a little bit of land. They put a plus one on everything, though. Okay. Fair enough. That's a big board. Another veteran. Board gets even bigger. Veteran board gets even bigger. Hmm. I feel like that should be Mono Green's thing. They don't attack at all, though. Tyvar stand. Can we somehow sneak through lethal? Probably not. You can kill artifacts and enchantments. I mean, yeah, we can send you in there because you're going to die eventually, but not looking amazing for sure. That's all we got. Wait, is that game? Oh, my God. Oh, we're one short. But we got to go for it, right? We got to punish them as much as possible. Pay six here. There's no other way to do it, right? Okay. I mean, we get the trample. Sure, take you. When it drops to one, we're one short. Okay. Interesting. Did not expect to get this far. One land for them. Don't forget they can use this thing to give everyone plus one, plus one. They do nothing again. Flip to night side. Pack leader ain't it. <laughs> I doubt they'll forget about trample again. They could though. What if the canker bloom gets through? No, there's no way. They have the 6-6 six, six first striker. Should we go for it? No. They might make the mistake though. We might be able to sack the canker bloom. I think it's our best shot here actually. I think we will lose if we do not try this play. So let's just attack all and look for a mistake and try to sneak in one point of trample damage off the canker bloom because they don't know what we have. So I'm hoping they block with an artifact creature on something that has a counter and then we destroy it 
With the canker bloom, is there a chance? Nope, there's no chance. <laughs> oh, we had to try. I think we had to try. Yes, yeah, so we just lose here. <laughs> what do we pro proliferate? Does that do anything? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gigabrain, we got this. Oh, we got it. Yes, submit three. Sneak through that one point of trample, baby. Ah, shit, they can do that too. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. We had to try. Had to go for it. It's all good. I think we we're going to lose if we didn't attempt um, look for a mistake on their part there. I definitely don't love this hand, but I think I'm going to keep it. If we had any of our numerous one or two drops early, see, that makes the hand a lot better. And we got the grotto, so we can scry into um, whatever else we need. Naturalist. I haven't played against enchantments in a blue moon. We'll take the scry here, I guess. I mean, what do we want? I guess we don't need it just yet because we have plenty of three drops. So let's learn more about what they're doing first before we choose what to scry into. Okay, wedding announcement for cheap. They attack. Okay, no blocks. They get the lifelink, but uh, we get to ramp, which is kind of interesting here. Alright, so we scry now. That's interesting. I mean, we're about to ramp for one. We can ramp more next turn. This is not bad. It's not awful. Okay. Kodama comes down. We hit the counter here. We swing with our modification. Next turn we can double spell. We can go both pack leader and a contaminator. And then if we hit more land, we can then um, play the 5-5. Five five. Bite rigging. That's not one you expect in this deck. I guess the shuffle kind of screws up the Kodama then. So that 5-5 five five, uh, got put somewhere else. That's okay. Had to play out the land anyway. More blockers acquired. I think we're just being mana efficient here. Getting the beast color down early is valuable though. Okay. Let's do it like that instead. We can almost send in the Kodama because um, we have so many more to deploy anyway. I think let's get this guy in there. We're pretty happy if they trade anything for it. Chump. Take five, ramp again. Not too shabby. Okay. A lot of free lands. Next naturalist. Fight rigging again, feeling weird. It's a long way to go to get up to seven. Flip the board. More land for us. Okay. Here comes the first contaminator. Get these uh, beast callers nice and hefty. And here comes the second contaminator. Everyone's got trample too. This is a good chunk of damage. Just you guys. See what they're willing to trade. Alright. We'll definitely take the lifelinker out then. In terms of where to put the counters, I think we want to distribute them. I don't even know how many this guy has. We want the Kodama to die in combat, ideally. Let's put at least one here. Maybe let's do it like that. Sure. Actually, in general, we just... Uh, we want to make sure everyone has at least one counter to start. And then we can pump some here. Alright, and then we can just make a big pack later, I guess. Let's do it like that. Okay. That seems fine to me. Large board assembled. Everyone's got trample. And we have the backup Kodama. So that's... Sh I don't know if that's enough, though. They picked the biggest thing. We still have 15 points of trample. That's a lot. No reason to play this out before combat. We can power up the Mistress Foundry. Yeah, that's a lot of trample damage. Okay! Big green. Doing big green things. On the play with the curve. Let's go. Okay. Get the evolving adaptive online. Love one mana, one one action. Classic mono green stuff. Wanna on red? Well, they're an epicure. Okay. Maybe Rakdos? I don't know. Another adaptive. Kind of interesting to get down early. I think we'll just go Beast Caller here, though. Let me go adaptive plus um, Beast Caller next turn. Swing for two. Uncontested to the face. First Beast Caller down. No counters to distribute. Okay. In terms of best ordering, do you want a bigger Beast Caller or a bigger Adaptive? 
I guess the adaptive is easier to grow, so maybe you play them after afterwards. So we'll do it like this. Unfortunately, the first adaptive doesn't get a counter, but it's okay. Swing for two. When it gets the anvil online. All right, so let's see if they sack the token or cycle it now to get that first blocker. So they do, but they don't necessarily want to block with this thing on our turn, because then their engine dies off. Okay. Well. Not a whole lot to do here. Just, uh, playing out stuff. I guess we'll also play you out to get the Beast Caller bigger. Why did that make that bigger? Wait, that just grew off the Scrap Gorger, right? Am I crazy? What just happened there? Chump there. Take six. Am I crazy? I feel like it shouldn't have grown off the Scrap Gorger. I'm sure I've missed something. Leave it in the comments. Okay, they sack the Synth now. Make a blocker. Drain us for a little bit. Only lands here, though. Not super scary. Harvester. Decent blocker in general. Kodama. Give everyone trample. I like the sound of that. Alright. Definitely play you out before combat. Okay. We don't have enough mana to power up the foundry. So we'll just swing as is. Get most of these guys in there. One mana. Three, three. Doing work. And the scoop off the double evolving adaptive. Fair enough. On the play, with a 1-drop and a 2-drop. And double Tyvar stand. Okay. Let's give it to him. When it's got some sweet sleeves. This arena is pretty funky. This is flesh, I believe. Which, uh... I don't know. That would be my top pick. Basic land. Ooh, a little Simic action. Okay. I see you, opponent. Get the Beast Caller down early. Bop him for 2 on the play. Spell Thief. They don't want to block, though. They want to keep all their resources around. And we get some nice trample here. So I'm down for that. Grow the Beast Caller. Ramp a little bit. I don't think they will block the Pack Leader. And even if they do, I'm not crazy unhappy. This deck has crazy potential to combo off. Ooh. Okay. Not what I thought. Actually, just Simic Beatdown. We have Reach, though. I'm so sorry. I don't have a sorry. Oh, it's tough. It's tough, I know. Nobody plays that card. It's okay. <laughs> On the play. Let's go. Okay. Sadly, none of our counter synergy for Kodama on three, but that's okay. Little ma little two mana three two never hurt anybody. Mono red, okay. Swift Spear, alright. You know, I think we want to get the adaptive down. Early. We can trade off the pack leader. He's not doing a whole lot right now. All right, you want to trade? When it takes two, now we might actually do the canker bloom. Because if we top deck the land, we can go adaptive plus canker bloom, which is maybe a little bit better. Okay, next swift spear on the move, and a phoenix chick. Well, they give their hand away, so uh, no blocks. We hit the land. That's pretty sweet. Again, we could go adaptive canker bloom here. I mean, we can also, uh... No, that's probably what we do here. Yeah, let's start like this. To attack with the first one. They didn't block last time. Let's actually see. Let's see if they want to block or not. Didn't need to play the adaptive before combat. Could have waited. Alright, they eat it all. Yeah, that's pretty good for us. Play the Canker Bloom. Make it 2-2. Two -two. Alright, I mean, we've gone pretty wide here. They've done almost no damage to us as the Mono Red Aggro player. Chandra, okay. Prowess triggered. Let's see how much they attack, though. Plus, make the mana. See if they play with fire. And the festivities. One damage everywhere. We lose uh, the wolf. I think we eat this and swing back with almost everyone. Okay. Kodama also has reach for the chick. We hit the next land, though. It's interesting. I think I like the ramp here. Also allows us to grow the adaptive next turn as well. 
The question is... I think we're going face. I think we ignore Chandra and try to just get there. Down to four. Take the ramp thinner deck a little bit. Maybe we can double spell next turn. Anchor Bloom could be sacked to do something, but nothing useful to target right now. Either artifacts, enchantments, or um, proliferate. Okay, let's see if they can find lethal. Definitely possible in Mono Red, but Kodama does block the flyer. Lightning Strike there. I count six damage. Okay. Impulse. I count eight damage. That land doesn't do it. They can play out the chick. I count nine damage. We drop to one and we win. Yeah. Okay. That's eight. We drop to one. Yeah, but that doesn't do it. One is not zero, friend. All right. Good game. Sweet. All right. I think we'll call it there, folks. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider dropping a like, a subscribe, and a comment. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.